Welcome again. In the previous lecture, we introduced centrality and prestige as the commonly used link analysis techniques. In this lecture, we are going to discuss centrality in more detail. According to centrality, the prominence or importance of a node is identified based on the links it has got. So, a central node is going to be the one that is involved in many links. The nodes are also called actors and the links are also called ties. There are three types of centrality that are called degree centrality, closeness centrality and betweenness centrality. Let's just calculate each one of them. According to degree centrality, if we are having an undirected graph, then it can be calculated for any node i as cd of i equal to the degree of that node i divided by n, which is the total number of nodes we have got in the network, minus 1. This denominator is the normalization part that is going to bring all the values into the scale of 0 to 1. Since a node can have a maximum degree of n minus 1, that is, it can be connected to all the other nodes in the network except for itself, and that is going to assign it a value of 1. For all the other nodes, the value is going to be less than 1. This denominator part is also important in the sense that if we have got a bigger network, the degrees are going to be on the higher side while in a smaller network, the degrees of the nodes is generally going to be much lower. In case we have networks with different sizes, this denominator is going to bring all the values to the same scale, which makes it easier for comparisons. Now let's just calculate the degree centrality for few of the nodes from this graph, considering the network to be undirected. That is, for a moment, we are going to ignore the directionality of edges in this network. So the degree centrality of the node 1 is going to be the degree of node 1, which is 2, that is it is having two edges. So that would be 2 and we have a total of 6 nodes in the network and 6 minus 1 is going to make it a 5, that is going to give us a value of 0.4. The degree centrality of the node 2 is also going to be 0.4 because it has got a degree of 2 while n is going to be 6. The degree centrality of the node 3 can be calculated as cd of 3 is equal to it has got a degree of 3 and divided by 5 and that is going to give it a value of 0.6. So this way, we can calculate the degree centrality of all the nodes with the graph being undirected. Now, in case if the graph is a directed one like the one we have over here, we have to consider the directionality. So in that case, the degree centrality of the node 1 considering the graph to be a directed graph is going to be the out degree of the node 1. So in this case, the out degree of the node 1 is 2 because it has got an out link to the node 2 and to the node 3. So its out degree in the directed graph is also going to be the same that is 0 0.4. Now let's just calculate the degree centrality for the node 3 considering a directed graph and that is going to be equal to the out degree of the node 3 which is 1 because it only has got an out edge to the node 2. So this would give it an out degree of 1 and we divide it by 5, which is going to be equal to 0 0.2. So in this way, the degree centrality of any node can be calculated considering either a directed graph or an undirected graph.